So what does CMX2 do? If you're new to the plugin, allow me to explain it. Real quick history. A few years ago, Color Map X came out. That's what we called it at MVP. And it was a plugin that allowed you to extract color palettes from existing images. Here's a big pile of them we have over here, including the Mona Lisa and some other things. And then we can apply that color palette in what I call a color wash onto your own image, such as this shot of Freya. So that was the original purpose of it. Now, over time, the customer base and the users of Color Map X started to refer to it as CMX on social media, just to shorten things. Well, like a lot of things, it became the name. That's <laughs> what everyone refers to it as. Um, so we decided to call Color Map X version 2.0 CMX2, a much awaited and anticipated update uh, does so much more than CMX1, which now we're retroactively calling CMX1. But let me give you a basic idea of what it does. So you have an image here that has, you know, this is a, a simple shot of Freya done on a phone in the backyard. Um, it's nothing special. It's not high production. It's just a cute shot. And it doesn't have a whole lot of color to it, right? So well, let's take some other shots that I found literally online on Google, like I said, even the Mona Lisa, and let's do some extractions and some applications, right? So here's a really crazy colorful sunset beach thing. So let's hit analyze. Doesn't even matter the sample settings, we can change it. So as you can see, it's pretty much representative of that. And if I add more samples, it becomes even more and more representative, right? We have videos that you can watch about how to use all the details of CMX2, but this is the basics of how it works or rather what it does. So now we go back to our image here, the shot of Freya and we hit apply gradient and there it is. Now the default settings that we had, we can take a look at them. We'll right click or control click analyze soft light blending mode for the gradient map. And oops, let's go to soft light just for future ones. That's the default setting. And then 60% opacity. We can see that in here. That's how it was done. We have some banding and whatnot because of the, the nature of the, the gradient, but we can smooth it out. And as you can see, it's pretty cool. So turn that off and on. And you can see that we have the basic vibe of this crazy sunset shot now here on what used to be a pretty direct sort of out of camera looking color of a shot of Freya and now it's super colorful. We can brighten it if we wanted to with levels and there's just things that we can do, but let's continue. What about this shot here? Okay. So we're not hundred percent convinced we like it. Here's an autumn scene. Let's put it analyzed. We can change the samples to something if we want, smooth it out. That's fine. But if we come back here to the shot of Freya while we're selected on CMX2 folder, we just hit apply and we can see what that looks like. See that? Now clearly, let's put this off to the side. Actually, let's put it back over here. Actually, we can really clearly see that it went from that to that. Now that's soft light blending mode. You can use other blending modes. Soft light's the, the one that I prefer to use. What happens if we did the Mona Lisa? Let's go analyze. Okay, that's the basic idea of the Mona Lisa, as you can see, at least this depiction of the Mona Lisa that I found online. And let's go ahead and replace it. Apply. Boom. Very, very, very subtle. We can kind of crank the opacity a little bit if we want. And those are the basic Mona Lisa vibes put onto our shot. Why not, you know? And what's this thing? This is an interesting shot because there's a couple of things you can do here. We can analyze the entire thing. Cause so he's got two different palettes, as you can see, or rather two different styles, if you will. There's cool palettes um, from the ocean and the sky and warm palettes from the sun and the rocks. So as you can see, we get quite a, a banded looking thing if we were to apply it. We would definitely look cool, but we definitely have banding. We can smooth it out. That's one option, of course. But when we go back to the original image, we can take any selection tool. I'm going to take the lasso tool and I'm going to take select some of this rock and hit analyze. And now I've got that. And then I can apply that and I have more of a direct look. Yeah, I can still smooth it if I need to and change the opacity if I need to. But now I've got just the warmth or deselect that. Go back to my lasso and choose just some of this brownish, bluish, dark colors here, analyze. There we go. As you can see, we definitely have that. I'm going to smooth that out a bit and apply it. Very, very subtle difference, obviously not that big a deal, but nonetheless, pretty, pretty darn cool. The details again are how we can modify this and how we can play with it. You guys can check out those videos, but this is if you're brand new to all of this. Here's another shot, analyze, interesting colors, apply. Again, lots of banding, but we can smooth it out and we can get that blue kind of vibe, turn down the opacity, all sorts of things. I mean, look, look at this one. <laughs> Let's capture just the sky of that one. There we go. Look at all the colors we have and apply. And here again, we can smooth it out if we really, really wanted to. Do you see how fast it is? I'm just playing around. I can change the opacity of it. I can brighten it if I need to. I can change the amount of samples if I want. I can increase the amount of samples, decrease the amount of samples, smooth it, etc. But the whole point of 
color map X or CMX2 is to take a palette, boom, and then apply it to your image. And that gives you the, like I said, the, the vibe or the essence of the shot and a nice, beautiful color wash, which I think that, you know, when people first started playing with CMX1, there were some questions that we'd get via support saying, hey, can I copy an exact grading of another image? No, you can't. And that's not the point. The point is to, you know, extract palettes that are exciting to you and interesting to you and then apply them to see how they work on your image and then tweak from there. And CMX1 didn't have all the tweaking capabilities that we have now built into CMX2. All kinds of different ways to modify the palette, how you're viewing the palette, the luminosity ranges of the palette is in. But again, we have videos on all of that. The entire point of this video is to show you what's possible. He knows how fast it is. It's also super fast too. Let me just analyze another one here. Okay, let's move that one out just a bit. Apply it. And then of course I can come over to my user settings here, my preset, hit a little plus symbol, and then I can save that one. Okay, and there it is right here in the middle. If I were to right click the actual palette itself, I can name it, let's call it purple sunset, right? Save that one and it's good. Now what's interesting is that when I have those saved, let's say I, I put the little heart on it so I like it, I can also dig through my presets at any moment. I can be like, well, what about this one? What about back to the candy? What about gold tones? Purple sunset. What about subtle warmth? Don't like that? Well, I can go to the community tab and see what's going on in the community tab. See what's been added recently or not. Look at all this stuff's been added. DLP Nigeria 2. I don't even know who added that. Must've been a user who did it. I can keep tapping and see all these different colors and see what they're doing to my shot. See that? And that's just, and then of course, when we're done, we can come back here and we can play with those settings. We don't have to commit to whatever they show up as. We can always play with those settings and modify them. It is about color exploration. It's not supposed to be this big formal, I want to extract this exact palette and use it precisely at, no, no, no. Explore color, play with color, save and share color. But the again, the main function of CMX2 is finding a palette, extracting it, whether all of it or a piece of it, and then applying it to yours to give it the essence of that color. <laughs>